Hey people, welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow Part 7, I'm Miss No Expert. So now, here's what we got going down. Let's start you off quickly. So first we have 44HY, you remember him, Blizz Vermillion theme. Then we've got my Q, who is, okay. Then I'm going to switch my Q to the back, also. Now, <laughs> surprise, we reveal some other Pokemon. So we've got a Lapras with Wargun and Growl, Rotata, just something useless, you're gonna need something that you don't need, and a Pikachu. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Pikachu and squish into that Lapras. So basically what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a Pikachu with moves like Surf and Ice Beam. So now what we're gonna do is pull out HM3 and teach it to the Lapras. And look at that, 44HY can, can learn HM3 too. But 44HY we don't actually need. I just had it with me because my box was full when I was pulling out these Pokemon. So I'm just gonna deposit it now. Rock onto that Vermilion theme, my friend. So now, I want Ice Beam, but I don't have the TM currently. But I know where it is, so I'm gonna go to Celadon City and grab it. Now, trust me, this glitch is just gonna like, blow you away. Oh, you know what's useful? No cheating device. Just that you guys know I'm not screwing with you. Um, you can do this on your own cartridge if you feel like. Um, if you still feel that these glitches are dangerous, well, I don't know, your loss, I guess, but <laughs> um, if that's what's preventing you from doing them. If it's just like you don't feel like it, but it's entertaining to watch me, okay, fair enough, but if you don't want to do it because you feel that the glitches are dangerous, that is your loss. Because, like I told you, these glitches won't hurt your... I will, like, post a freaking warning notice when there's a glitch that is... Oh my god, come back. Go, go. Okay. Don't. Okay. I'll, like, post a huge... Make a huge fuss about it when I get to a glitch that is actually dangerous to your game. Okay, don't worry. You will be... You will know. Okay. But, um... Currently, like, missing them, it just won't hurt your game, seriously. Oot, elevator shaking, epic graphics. I can count individual pixels. You know a game is great when you can count individual pixels. Hell yeah! I want to teach Ice Beam those Lapras. Okay, so now I have Lapras, Rattata, Pikachu, and Q. What you're gonna want to do is once the Pokemon has the moves that you want, and make sure that you that the Pokemon you want to transform into has the moves that you want, because you won't be able to teach them as once the Pikachu transforms into Lapras, it won't be able to, to learn Surf, because it will be counted as a Pikachu still in that res in that respect. So here's what you're gonna want to do. Actually, no, I fucked up. I need to change the box order. So Rattata will go first, not the box order, the party order, and then. Then Q, and then Pikachu, and then Lapras, okay? Trust me on this one. Rit so you're gonna want Rattata, something useless. Q, what you want to become different, like what you want to have different moves, and the moves that you aspire to get, okay? If that makes sense. So now, watch what's gonna happen. When I deposit, oh, when I deposit, when I pull out the Rattata. No, no, I'll try to deposit the Rattata. The Q will like force everything above it to move up. And the game doesn't know how to handle this, so now I have this. Oh yeah! It's definitely a Pikachu that knows all these moves. Now you're gonna wanna be careful because what happens is Q will multiply itself. As you can see, I now have another Q. Which is dangerous. Now I have two Qs. This one looks like a tab, but it's actually a Q. It's the original Q, the TM55. So you're going to want to be very careful, actually, because you can make more cues than you'll want. So now I have this Lapras, or Pikachu, really. And um, what you're going to want to do is have a safe box. I recommend making it the last box in in the game, like box 12. And have that be your cue box. Store nothing in there but cues. 
because you really don't want them to be in any other box. Just in case. Just in case, because think about it. I, all I had to do to combine two Pokemon was deposit something in front of it. Which meant that, or you can do the same thing if you would draw and it's in a box. So you could create a huge clusterfuck if you just have Q at the top of one of your boxes and you pull out something above it. Everything below will just get merged with whatever's in front of it. Which is not very much fun, trust me on that one. Like, I lost the only Squirtle you get in this game because <laughs> of freaking Q. But it's okay because with the Mew Glitch you can get Q back. Now, I do have... Let's take another look at this... Lapras. Oh, lol surf. Um, it keeps its level from whatever you transformed from. It keeps its stats from what you transformed into. Therefore, it is called an imbalanced Pokemon, and I'll tell you what that means in a sec. It keeps its typing from what you transformed from, and its number, but it keeps the moves from what you transformed into. So, imbalanced Pokemon, what that means is that, um... Your Pokemon, currently, is... Oh, it also keeps the color. It keeps the shape from what you transformed from, but the color from what you transformed into, so watch. This will blow your minds. Okay, Pidgeotto. OMG! It's a blue Pikachu! What? Wow, Whirlwind, you showed. <laughs> okay, I hate Whirlwind so much. Sniff sniff. Okay. Whirlwind is a very easy way to lose shinies, let's just put it like that. Um, actually no, where am I going? I wanna fly to Lavender Town. So, yes. This Pikachu is currently called Lapras, because it keeps its name from what you transformed into. But, what you can do is simply walk over to Lavender Town and rename it. You can call it Pikachu if you want. Now, what I did um, before is... I called my Pikachus, I had a whole fleet of Pikachus that were all different types. Um, for example, I had a Flame Chew, which was based off Charizard, I had a Ghosty Chew, which was based off Gengar, I had a Water Chew, which was this, based off Lapras, um, that's what I'm going to call it this time, Water Chew, and I had a Plenty Chew, based off Venusaur. I had a, uh, I had so many. Now what else you can do is you can get a surfing and flying Pikachu just by combining it with a Mew, but that's a whole different story. So now I have this Pikachu. Let's go see if I can play the surfing mini game with it. I doubt you can because it's imbalanced, and I'm pretty sure it needs to be balanced 100% Pikachu, which would be impossible because I can't connect to Stadium 2. If you have Stadium 2, you can balance Pokemon. Oh, I never really told you what imbalanced means, did I? The reason that it has a different color is because it's imbalanced. It means that its stats are way too high for a Pokemon of its type and level. Its stats are abnormally, like, its stats are Lapras's. Which is not, like, it'll, if you try and trade it to gold right now, it will be caught in the error trap. Um, and it needs to be balanced. The easiest way to balance a Pokemon is just to evolve it. But I can't do that with this because it'll kick a Thunderstone right out of my hand. There's another way, and that's by trading it to Stadium 2. Uh, and then doing some shenanigans there and trading it back. I don't really know how to do that since I've never had Stadium 2. Um, but since it's imbalanced, I doubt this will work. Let's see. No, it won't. What's up? Can I talk to my Pikachu? Like, oh my gosh, it's super, super happy. Win. What does this do? Does anybody know? I don't even know. I've been wondering about that for a while, but yeah, I didn't even know the Surf Pikachu minigame existed until a little while ago. But yes. Wait, what? Oh, right, I'm not on the coast yet. I was just like, how can I not? Yeah, I, I definitely am surfing on a Pikachu. Oh my gosh, win! <laughs> I didn't even know that. Seriously, guys, this is the first time I've ever seen that. 
I never, I've gotten surfing Pikachu before. I've never bothered to surf on it. <laughs> That's so much wind. Holy crap. <laughs> That's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so cool. So cool. What happens if you fly? If you have a Pikachu that flies, does it like, <laughs> instead of a Pidgey sprite, does it use a Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Okay. Um, yeah, that just like made my day because I, <laughs> I didn't even know that happens. But that is pretty sweet. And yet I still can't play the mini game. What the heck? Okay. That's annoying. But uh, yeah, I guess it has to be balanced. That is so cool. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, it looks like if you surf on a Pikachu, it has a Pikachu sprite. It's absolutely hilarious. Um. So yes, that's how you do the super cool glitch where you combine two Pokemon together. And I did it to make a water chew. Now, um, what is my time at? I'm at 11 minutes, which is a little bit short. So I think I'll show you guys the next glitch. Now for this, I am going to need a different emulator than VBA because VBA can't link. I'm going to need uh, to pull out a different emulator right now because this involves trading. So. See you guys in a bit. Okay? I'm just gonna off screen until I get the emulator and stuff ready. Hey guys, welcome back. This is the continuation of Let's Go to Pokemon 7. Oh, Let's Go to Pokemon Yellow Part 7. Now, um, as you can see, I am lagging really hard. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's what we're gonna need to do start trading. Jesus, I'm lagging really hard. Okay, so I need to do a couple trades. Um, wow, this is pretty ridiculous. So, right. Okay, finally, crystal version got tacked together. Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness, okay, I'm lagging extremely hard. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. Diglett and Jolteon? What? Down to 18 FPS, Jesus Christ. Okay, hang on, this is too much slowdown. Um, it's unacceptable. Just going to reload the ROMs. Uh, reload crystal. Okay. Jesus Christ, disconnect. Wow, okay, that's new. Uh... Oh, I know what happened. Shit. Okay.
Okay, I think I might have set the system. Yeah. Oopsies. Okay. Um. I still have like two frames per second, but. Okay. Um. How about you reload crystal then? How about you reload? Yellow. Okay. So. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. No. Okay. So right now they're running just fine, but. Okay. Let's try and get back in here. Action never mind, I need the link first. Okay. You listen. You connect. Okay. Why do I lag so damn hard every time I connect? Here, let's make the window smaller. That doesn't increase my frame rate at all. Okay guys, um, here's what I'm going to do, Camtasia's making me lag like a bitch right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to off screen until I make a trade, and the trade I'm going to make is Gyarados, the shiny one, from gold, for a scrap Pokemon in yellow, okay, so see you guys then, because Camtasia's lagging me the hell out, okay bye. Okay guys, um, as you saw, I could not get the train to work because Crystal will simply not go through into the trading process and Yellow will simply crash. Um, I tried even without Camtation, it worked a lot faster, but all that happened was the end result of crashing just came a lot faster. So I'm just going to cut off the part here, probably give you guys a double feature today, but at least I showed you guys how to do this, which is pretty cool. video is already getting kind of long anyways, so yeah. Um, you guys, guys are going to have to wait for a uh, time for me to show you how to make a Pokemon Shiny, but I'll show you. I showed you what you're supposed to do for a little bit of it. You guys will see the full video later once I figure out this whole trading deal. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. LGPY Part 7.